2020. It's the year safe driving cars were supposed to be a reality. Companies have made this promise since 2014. We are in 2022. Still no signs of self-driving cars on our roads. In fact, recently, companies even gave up. Why? The current state of AI cannot read humans yet, deal with our free will. Self-driving cars cannot safely share streets with human drivers. Social delivery robots cannot effectively share sidewalks with humans yet. On one hand, over the past years, AI has made great progress. AI can see, can detect cats in images, play games, generate images from a sentence. While all these advances are quite useful and exciting, they are not in a social or real life setting. I like how my former advisor is referring to them as an in vitro practice of AI, which refers to research conducted in a lab. As a professor of AI and transportation, our lab wants to go from the in vitro practice of AI to an in vivo one, where AI enters real life in contact with human in social spaces, enabling autonomous vehicle to safely coexist with us and share our space. So how can we get there? Let's look at the camera of an autonomous vehicle. Its AI will first solve a perception problem, detecting all objects around the vehicle, then plan a path accordingly. For many years, we considered the real deal to be detection. But nowadays, detection is quite impressive and working. Yet, we still have accidents. Why? Look carefully at the pedestrian on the right. What do you think he'll do in the next second? Yes, so in fact, he decided to jaywalk, to catch the bus on the left. The person monitoring the autonomous vehicle predicted this behavior and decided to intervene and brake. Otherwise, the autonomous vehicle would have collided with the pedestrian. What is missing in this AI? We believe we should introduce another step, a forecasting one in charge of predicting the future. Then our planner will use the output of our forecasting to update its action. And to better predict, we need to rethink how we see humans. Traditional AI treats humans as a point in space or a trajectory in time. But we are much more than that. We exhibit signals. In our lab, we want to interpret these signals. We want to extract body pose. We want to extract the focus of attention. We want to extract gestures, recognize actions. And we want to use all these signals to better understand humans and better predict their behavior. We even want to learn body languages that we subconsciously exhibit to communicate our intention. In this example, forecasting is useful to stop the vehicle. But if we travel in my hometown, forecasting should be used to not stop the vehicle. Otherwise, French drivers will crash into you from rear side. In fact, 98% of current self-driving car accidents are of this type, which is a sudden stop of the vehicle, surprising other drivers and crashing into the vehicle. Fun fact, it's so hard to navigate around Arc de Triomphe that insurance companies have agreed to share the cost of accident, regardless of whose fault it is. So even we humans struggle to drive around Arc de Triomphe. We subconsciously forecast the behavior of other drivers before making a decision. We even have an estimation of uncertainty. When I see a child playing on the sidewalk, I'm less confident of the child behavior. I slow down. Autonomous vehicles should have the same forecasting capability. And thanks to this forecasting capability, it will pave the way to a new AI we refer to as 
socially aware AI. AI capable of predicting social interactions. AI augmented with social intelligence. Socially aware AI must learn all the unwritten rules of social interactions. How? We believe from examples. As Rumi said, things are known by their opposites. The current success of AI is based on machine learning. The current success of machine learning is based on this principle. To learn a task, let's use positive examples and negative examples as guidelines. Well, to learn to detect a cat in an image, we use positive examples of a cat and negative example of non-cat to solve our task. We want to do the same. We want to learn social forecasting with examples with data. Is data all you need? It's true that data is useful to learn tasks we struggle to explain. We do struggle to explain why the image of a cat is a cat. But there are tasks that have some level of explainability, some expert knowledge. For instance, when I was 18, I learned driving with a few rules. I was able to drive in Paris, almost everywhere, but I have to confess that I was not very confident and comfortable to drive around Arc de Triomphe right away. For that, I needed more experience and more data. In our lab, we want to develop mathematical frameworks that can learn jointly from data and knowledge. Are there any other assumptions that we can use? Our world seems quite complex at first. The space of social interactions seems large. What if it's just the composition of very few simple concepts put together? And that's what we're going after. We want to find these few concepts. And by learning socially aware AI, we will be able to deal with humans, with their free will. Yet, socially aware AI will not have free will, which is a concept unique to human beings. And to prove my point, I want to show again the first example. But now, it's a pedestrian waiting in the rain for, to cross or not. When I see this pedestrian, there is an inner voice in me advising me to stop and let the pedestrian cross. But there is another voice pushing me to accelerate to get home as quickly as possible. The reality is, it's up to my free will to decide if I should stop or not. Social aware AI will detect the crossing intent of this pedestrian, but we need to explicitly code and determine the ethical decision to stop or not. Let's look at another example. The human driver has the free will to navigate through the puddle, causing these pedestrians to be splashed. What will the human driver do? Sadly, no evidence of the puddle. Again, social aware AI will not avoid the puddle if we do not explicitly code it. But it's not an easy decision to code, since in some context, <laughs> people want to be splashed. So socially aware AI must predefine all these ethical decisions. But then, how socially aware AI relates to ethical AI? Well, socially aware AI implies planning with ethical awareness, executing action with ethical considerations. I said earlier that we can learn social interactions from data. Shall we learn to implement ethical decisions from data? Ethics is based on principles that we can explain, like a recipe. For instance, when facing a choice between a human or an animal, favor humans. They have more rights. You might disagree with this principle, but we can explain it. You might have your own principle based on your own development of thought. But then data might be useful to see how we put a principle into practice. Let's look at our robot navigating 
in Lausanne alongside us pedestrians. Our robot must respect humans. It must respect personal space. But the practice of this principle might differ from one culture to another one. What is the personal space that we like in Switzerland? It might be one meter. In other countries, half a meter. So one can argue that all we need to do is to learn from data the practice of these principles. But the challenge is that which principles to, to follow? If we look at an autonomous vehicle, maybe it might be in a situation that the vehicle needs to choose between colliding with an animal, with human, or with nature. What should be implemented in the autonomous vehicle? What is the hierarchy of rights? What about we ha having two jaywalkers and one walker? Who has more rights? All these principles should not be defined by AI experts, nor engineers, but by a science which studies humanity. In fact, philosophers, thinkers, have already addressed these questions over centuries. We, AI experts and engineers, have the moral duty, obligation, to implement these principles into our systems. In our lab, we want to learn someone's ethic by asking few questions. And we want to use this answer to predict their ethical decisions in all scenarios. Our challenge is to find the minimum number of questions to ask and be able to predict the maximum number of scenarios. To sum up, to practice in AI in vivo, our lab wants to understand humans, understand all these signals that we use to communicate our intention. We want to bring social awareness with ethical consideration into AI. In other words, we want to bring humanity into AI and make safe driving cars a safe reality.